Okay, we're getting close now. What I'd like to do is just do a little cleanup here. We don't really need to show this plane two or plane one. So plane two is back here. I'm just going to hide it and hide plane one. Because I'm going to show you a, a trick to get this other little knobby thing over to this other side here. Ah, oh, come on. To get that knobby guy over to the other side, instead of building it again, I'm going to use a mirror feature. But I need a plane to mirror it over. So here's a kind of a cool thing. Grab your plane tool again. And instead of an offset plane, let's do a mid plane. I want a plane to be midway between this side and this side. And see that? It puts this third, this plane right here, halfway between the two sides of the box. Cool. So I'll accept that. It's a mid plane. Why did I put the midplane there? Because I'm going to grab my mirror tool. And right now it's a part mirror, but I want to not mirror a part. I want to mirror a feature. The feature I want to mirror was this extrude, right? That's that guy. And the fillet that I put on there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to mirror. The mirror plane is, it's not selecting there, so I'll select it here, plane three. And let's go see if it did it. Yeah, look at that. It put the extrude and the fillet over on the other side. If it was perfectly mirrored over there, you, that works just great. If that doesn't work for you, just go ahead and make this again on this side. Great. Now we got it. Also, if you don't like some of these sharper things you get in there, like that edge there, like it's pretty sharp in there. Let's see. Let me get a better view here. This kind of corner right there. It's a little sharp for my design preference, so I'm going to fill it that. And I'm going to put my, grab that, and it's not going to do five. I like four here because my radius of all of this was four. That's an option. Let's do it over here as well. And you don't have to do that. It's all like what you like. Sweet. But now I got those cool circles there. Uh, I'm going to keep that material there just so it's a little more structurally sound. Cool. Now, let's put the top back in. And we're going to have to make little holes right there for those to go. Okay, so I'm going to hide the bottom. And I'm going to build a, a sketch on that surface, a circle at the center. Find the center. There it is. Go out... It was two on the other one, so let's go two here. Nice, looks like that'll work. And great, and then let's extrude in a little bit and remove some material. I think we only need to remove like a millimeter, but I'll do like 1.5 and make it go in. And then you'll never see this, it's kind of overkill, but if you fill it, or let's first accept that. You can make a little fillet inside that guy too, if you want, and make it like 0.5 millimeters. You don't have to do that. Look at that, makes it nice and round in there. That's pretty cool. Now I need one on the other side, and I've got a, a plane to mirror it on if I want to. So let's do that mirror again. Let's mirror, not a part, but a feature, and it's that extrusion and the last fillet I made over the pl mirror plane three. Where did that mirror plane three go? Plane three. There it is. Let's see if it did it. Sweet. Let's accept. And I think we just did it. Let's put the bottom back in there. Get a nice view here. Awesome. Now all we got to do is make it so the top clicks in to the bottom.